I like your doll. What's her name? Sarah. That's a pretty name. Thanks. <laughs> you know, that was my mom's name. She used to live here a long time ago. She's still here. What did you say? She doesn't like you. Who doesn't like me? Wait, you... Oh, there's the creep factor. That's a clip from Paranormal Activity next of Kin. This Halloween, people are uh, visiting family, at least you saw there in that clip. What we are visiting today with Christopher Chacon. Christopher, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. I am so excited to talk with you because as a consultant on these films, one of the world's most foremost authorities on scientific investigation and paranormal activity, it fits to our Halloween show today. And so let's dive right in. Let's first talk about the film. Explain the, the overall draw of the paranormal film franchise that there's just these installments that keep lending itself to more and more films, right? Oh, absolutely. And especially this film, uh, it different from the past versions of Paranormal Activity. So it'll appeal not only to the fans, but also to those people who've, who've never seen the previous ones. Uh, the past ones, of course, are within the home for the most part. And so it got very intimate with people. It was almost like you were watching home movies as things began to uh, dip into terrifying scenarios. Um, but now you're going along outside the box, as it were. So you're uncomfortable a bit it's, as things begin to get unsettling it's it's really amped up way more because our characters are dealing with an area and people that that they know nothing about um and the unique style of filming the verite cinema verite style like mm -hmm. as if it's documentary sort of tricks your mind into thinking well this is reality this is true what, what we're eavesdropping on and so when things begin to happen it, it pops more the whether it be the phenomena that's taking place or simply interacting with individuals that are on the more disturbing side. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, a lot of these are kind of based on things that have had happened. And I know you've been able to reflect on those happenings to put them into the film. Let's talk a little bit about where this storyline came from. Is this something that you've been able to investigate or something similar in your career? Well, this, uh, I mean, for the most part, my understanding is this is the creation of the uh, uh, the writer directors, um, not necessarily of any fact based content. Uh, if, if it is, then it's loosely fact based. Uh, some of the mythology and stuff that they used was tweaked a little bit. Um, although I will say that whether it be you know coincidental or not, there are a couple of cases of real phenomena that do mirror what they experience in this film. Um, unfortunately, the real cases that happen in the world are the situations were much worse. Mm -hmm. And when you see the film, mm -hmm. then you begin to realize and your imagination runs, wow, that's that's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but the phenomena, you know, in all the films, they've, it, it's interesting that if you could take any of the movies and kind of uh, divide them up with the different types of phenomena that's in them, um, there is reported phenomena around the world which is similar in some capacity. And of course, what the movie does is compact all those together uh, so that you get way more of this intensified dramatic effect. Okay, Christopher, I'm so sad. We have under a minute left. I had all these things I wanted to talk with you about. I'm a big believer in the paranormal. I've seen crazy things in, in my homes, and I'm assuming you hear that on a regular basis from folks. Obviously, there's always a draw, but what do you tell people? What's that one thing to maybe look for or to do if you think like, okay, there's something creepy going on in my home? Well, first, you have to remember that some 70 to 80 percent of these cases have explanations, okay. psychological, physiological, environmental for that 20 to 30 percent. If something's really happening, I think, you know, the, what they have to do is be in their home or in the location when they aren't normally. The pandemic has allowed us to do that so that we are become more aware of events that are happening. The other thing is a lot of phenomena, especially haunt phenomena, is subjective, not objective. And that means you can't record it. You can't document it. It's almost happening at a telepathic level. And those type of experiences mean, you know, if, if it's happening uh, and it's not causing anyone's harm there, you, you know, I, you try to interface with it, try to explore it. I think the majority of experiences are not 
but are not malevolent. They're not going to hurt you. If something's harmful, my suggestion is immediately get out of the home. Well, Christopher, I am so sad to say we are out of time. Will you come back? I have so many questions. I want to talk to you more about this. Pick your brain. Of course, you can get uh, a little maybe creeped out as well, talking about paranormal activity next of kin. It's going to be streaming October 29th on Paramount+. Plus. So nice to meet you, and I hope we can talk nice again. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Happy Halloween.